Howdy guys, how are we doing? We are back with another Westland video. How are we doing? I hope you guys are well. So, it's still Christmas themed. We still have all the decorations here. It's snowing, yet it still has the original music, so non-Christmas uh, music. So what that means is, I'm sure you guys have already know already in the first place, but um, the developers were nice enough and kind enough to let the uh, holiday theme run a little bit longer than what they previously planned. And that was just so much so they can finish off, or allow us, sorry, to finish off our um, Christmas tree. And with that being said, I had managed to finish off my Christmas tree, so there it is. And I will hopefully await the Christmas presents that will be hopefully dropping sometime this week, I believe, from what the developers have actually mentioned. So, um, pretty much if you guys haven't done so already, I'm not too sure if there's any more that we can do around the areas where we can still um, loot Christmas items. I'm not too sure about that. I haven't actually been in the over map for a little while now, so we'll go ahead and check that out. I actually had a few, um, the weekend off. I didn't really get up too much there. So there it is there, but it's not accessible anymore. Okay, so what that means is that we cannot use it unfortunately anymore. Um, just for you guys, I'll quickly duck into a, a zone and just quickly check it out, just to see if there was any more um, prezzies that we can actually find and obtain, and at least that way you guys can, you know, try and finalize everything. But I think, I'd like to think that it has been finished off, so, um, but we'll quickly, quickly check it out. So, looks like it was a, a minor hot fix that they did to sort of shut everything off. And now that we don't have any accessibility um, to go to the Christmas zone, which is one thing. Our horse is still Christmas themed as you can see there, so let's quickly just walk him in here anyway and just see if there's still any presents lying about. If if so, whoop. Um, that's awesome on that part there, but let's see if there's anything here. I'll quickly grab some of the loot anyway as I'm sort of going along as it is. And let's have a look at that. Let's grab some of that. Um, whoop. So far, I don't actually see anything, which is, well, look, like I said, I'm not surprised, to be honest with you, just to sort of have a bit of a squeeze around here. Um, let's have a look a little bit further up over here. I'm sorry, Wolf. Let's see what's in this little chest. Um, okay, nothing at all. Let's just move on. And let's go into a zone that I know that you'll be able to get presents. So we'll go into the forest um, a little bit further in. Once the map reloads, we'll get in there and have a quick uh, bit, bit of a squiz over here. The pinery should definitely have something here, if anything. But as I said, I don't think we'll have anything uh, left to loot. So I think now that the holiday zone is closed off, I think that will signify that we won't be able to get any of the um, the present loots around the zones and maps. So it is what it is, but I thought I'd just check it out just for you guys anyway. I'm hoping that you guys have finished your Christmas tree and hopefully are eagerly awaiting the spoils that are to come, hopefully during the week. But let's go ahead and have a bit of a peek and see what's happening around here. Let's get rid of this wall. And yeah, look, it doesn't seem to have any holiday themed of anything right now. Don't mind me, I'm just sort of going through and just obliterating everything that I see in front of me. Um, as you normally would, come through to one of these little basic zones and take out anyone and everyone. Oop, let's just take you out as well. And yeah, looks like it's all gone anyway, guys. So what do you do? We'll, we'll leave it alone for now. But while I got you here as well, we had a um, Friday FAQ. So it's a little bit late, but I wanted to sort of point something out as I sort of um, was reading through the FAQ. So some pretty standard, pretty normal, as you would expect from a standard FAQ. But one part sort of interests me the most, and I wanted to touch on that while I had you guys here. So, someone asked as a question, when will I um, have the ability to um, harvest the 
tier five resources. So for those that are playing at home, this is all the newer resources that are not currently available. So things like marble, uh, the larch plank, I believe, or the larch wood, um, hemp, which is another one, and you've got perfect hide, and I believe there's something else that I'm missing out, the alloy uh, metal as well. And there might be something else that I haven't really sort of thought about as well that I can think of at the moment. So that was the question. When will I be able to find all these resources and um, start, you know, um, farming for them and, and all that sort of good stuff? So the response was, as they're working on the game, you know what, let's just go over to this and see what we can get from that. Basically, the answer was, as they're... Um, updating the game and adding new features in they're not ready to go ahead with such um with such an update just yet but what they indicated is once they found the balance with everything within the game they're going to release it to the masses what they also said was that they're going to have um we're going to have enough resources to farm with plenty of places to explore and hunt not exactly word for word, but that's basically what it said along the lines. The biggest takeaway for, that I had taken from that was the explore part. And this is what I wanted to touch on with you guys today about the exploration part of finding new items. This could mean many of things. What initially had struck me was places to explore. What does that say to you guys? What that tells me, new zones. It has to be something to do with new zones that could be coming or making their way into the game, well, hopefully soon enough. So I am hopeful that we will, oh, I'll grab some of this, that we will have newer resources, number one, but we're also gonna have newer zones, number two. Now, we don't know whether they're going to be any sort of, um, redesign of the same zone like they've done in the green zone the forest or will they be completely off the shelf brand new zones for us to play with i'm hoping it's the latter personally but I also wouldn't mind seeing the redesign of um, the current zones that we have here so for, take for instance we've got the wreck train event the wreck train event has been with the game ever since the game has pretty much released so you can imagine that it's got to be definitely time for it to update uh, soon. We don't know if that's going to happen, but this is something that I wanted to talk, sort of touch base with you guys and, you know, go through this theory that I have at the moment that possibly we could be in line for a massive update that's going to give us brand new zones in line with the tier five materials that we've been eagerly awaiting for. Now it has been a couple of months since they released tier four um, resources. So naturally we would want to know when the next available um, tier five will be and when that will come. Now we don't know if it's going to come with this within the January update. We have no idea. I doubt that we will get any sort of update for tier 5 resources in January I would like to think it might be somewhere in you know possibly February into March if they're touting that this is going to be a massive update which which suggests that it will be so we don't know whether it will be everything that will come at once or will we have um, let's say new resources or sorry let's say new zones first or will we get the resources first in the current zones that we currently have but on a very very uh, limited availability so kind of like what they've done with t4 at the moment where they've only just uh, drip fret uh, sorry drip feed our um, our resources now you would have noticed um, quite a quite a while ago that um, they have limited the tier 4 resources so will they give us the zones first expand on tier 4 resources so it gives us more to uh, farm and um, and basically you know st uh, stock up on our own inventory back at base that's what I'm thinking potentially this would be the way to, um, to do it just so they can prepare for tier 5 resources and then drop them down appropriately 
when the time comes, when they've um, gone through all the optimizations and make sure that we, oh sorry, the servers can handle the new zones and us accessing them at the same time. That's what I would believe that would be a more logical explanation and how the developers may or may not even actually implement uh, the future updates. So we don't know exactly when this will happen. So no official time frame that I'm aware of. So this is where I'm throwing it to you guys. Let me know in the comments, what do you think as to when or how are we going to get all the newer resources or whether or not will we be gifted with uh, the brand new zones? Um, will we get them first or how it's going to work? It's anyone's guess. So for basically for everyone that's playing at home, I'm hoping that we will get um, new zones first, tier four resources, let's open them up, give us more resources so we don't have to continuously farm the southern zones and trying to find bits and pieces, scraps and this and that. So that's the last thing I would hope that they will do or they would actually potentially leave alone. So that's what I'm hoping. But again, like I said, let me know in the comments. Um, what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna get out of this zone. I think I'm done here. I'll just pick up a few bits and pieces here. Just a casual way to sort of run into a zone and just have a bit of a chat with you guys whilst I'm doing everything here. But let's go ahead and speculate and see where do we think that they may open up the potential new zones. So, and again, we don't know exactly when they're going to do this or we don't know if they're going to redesign some of the current zones that they've got, um, that we have at the moment. What I'm thinking as another possible outcome is will they redesign the mixed forest the abandoned mine these two zones have been primarily put here but they've never really been um, influential so basically they have there's not a lot going on with these two zones they're just sitting here for the sake of sitting here additional zones for us to go into and grab a few resources um, for a lot of people you probably want to find most of your oak in this zone here and then over here you've got a mixed bag with all the uh, stone, shale, and you've got coal, and you've actually got copper and tin as well. So it's an okay zone if you really want to get a bit of everything, maybe, but I don't see much purpose in these two zones here at the moment. So possibly there may be a chance that they may um, rebalance or redesign the zones, either one or two, to give us some tier four resource accessibility here. And this will help a lot of people as well uh, when they're trying to grind for certain resources or possibly they might even put say um, iron in the abandoned mine zone potentially and they may put some maple into here potentially who knows so maybe that that might be as part of their rebalance and what they may do is they may shift some very very um, narrow um, t5 resources up north so in the winter uh, zones up here, potentially, and they may do the same over here in the southern zones. Again, all to do with um, prolonging or pushing out um, fast-tracked, um, uh, well, not, not upgradability, but more or less um, uh, end-game playing, basically. Or they might even add tier 5 resources like they've kind of done with the tier 4 in the spirit cave like they've done so far or our hopeful outcome is they may open up this little passage over here that we've got where we have um, a caved in area where we can't utilize the train tracks here to get across this could be the next area that they could open up potentially and allow us to um, access here because if we remember correctly um, in previous um, versions of the game when this wasn't available there was passages that you could walk through to here and like a little cave area here and another cave over here where the train would go into. They could also potentially open up this area over here further down south. I know there's a bit of an area over here that, um, that they had available and of course up here a little bit as well. Um, I doubt that they're going to do anything down here because I think that's all done, in my opinion. 
or will they open up completely over here potentially who knows so this is where all the fueling the um, speculations everything else in between that we will have to sort of theorize for the moment hopefully soon we will know exactly what's going on now we're not too sure will they drop a new update this week or will they just simply remove off the Christmas themed uh, come during the week when they uh, go to uh, reward all the players that have completed their Christmas tree I doubt that they're going to give us an update this week that's look I could be wrong but uh, coming off an update and then basically giving us rewards and then giving us an update again I'm not too sure how that's gonna play so my speculation to that would be is that we're gonna leave Christmas update we'll get our rewards we may have a week or so in between and then basically the following week I would imagine that could be an update now we don't know what type of update that's going to be so it could be a minor update it could be a major to kick off 2020 we don't know yet so with that being said it's anyone's guess so let's go home and let's want to actually let's buy some coins and let's just race home I particularly don't want to really use my oats at this stage because I'm running low and coins are harder to come by these days unless if you're doing quest after quest after quest kind of thing so it is what it is I just wanted to drop a few things off but again everything that I've just spoken to you about here let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below because I'll be really interested to hear what you guys really have to say about all that and hopefully you know a lot of the speculation may come true we don't know that yet so um, I'm hopeful that something like this may happen but again guys we don't know until we obviously know I guess at the end of the day so at this stage in the game there's really not much that I've got going on um, potentially what I might be looking at doing is just continue to mine some shale just so I can start upgrading the perimeter of my base just to sort of get you know a little bit more security around the base just so for any sort of um, you know raid or bandit attacks and things like that in the future that's basically where I'm at here at the moment because I kind of stopped here and I've stopped here for a little while now so that's something I'm sort of looking at doing potentially in between updates I'm also thinking about redesigning the base again it is pretty open so I can sacrifice a, a bit of materials here here and there basically and just get a bit of a redesign happening um, not too sure exactly how I really want to layer it out and structure it I am thinking of a couple of possibilities and things like that but I really don't have a, a generalized idea just yet but I really want to do something that's a little bit more um, I don't know base like I guess that's probably the, the, the right I guess the best way I can sort of um, uh, pitch it to you guys and give you guys a bit of a, um, an idea of what I'm thinking but the, this open planning here it's really I feel like it's really half done and I never really you know fully sort of give it gave it my haul and changed the base so yeah I think what's going to happen is I'm going to sort of do a bit of a redesign of the base but I really don't know exactly how I'm going to sort of do it and manipulate it um, and how I sort of really want to sort of structure it so I'm thinking about it but I don't know yet I really don't know so hopefully um, you know I'll have something soon I'm looking at um, uh, designs that I'm really interested in and seeing how I sort of want to do it myself because um, right now as you can sort of see here it's really really boring so not really something that's appealing I guess and for me I hate that I really want to make an appealing base something that you guys can look at and enjoy and possibly even you know and copy the design you know it's not something that I really you know wouldn't want you guys to do or you know take some design cues that I've done and hopefully you guys you know may even implement the exact same base or you might even just do something very similar or take a few elements here a few elements there I don't know but that's what I'm looking at in between you know these updates here I think it's probably a good time to sort of you know um, nut out a, a suitable design and sort of take it from there so that's basically what I'm sort of looking at right now but we'll see how we go 
and hopefully I'll come up with something nice I guess but anyway I figured that's pretty much all I wanted to cover today so I really want you guys to let me know in the comments section what you think about everything again as I said once more please let me know um, let's get a little debate going and hopefully you know we'll have we'll share similar um, uh, speculations similar ideas or you guys might have something completely different that you want to throw out there and I want you guys to do just that so let's get that discussion happening comment down below hit the like button on this video guys and share if you can and if you guys haven't done so already please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos i do a lot of survival games as well so please check out the channel there might be something that you may be interested in anyway guys i'm gonna get out of here so thanks for stopping by watching the video and i will catch you next time